floor to, to open discussion. Um, so I'll let the speakers introduce themselves when they arrive. Um, so to get the ball rolling, I'd like to have a short rant about uh, Greenwash, corporate Greenwash. Now, we all know why we're here. Um, many of you will be all too familiar with the, the litany of, of nightmare visions which, which talking about climate change sort of brings. So I don't need to repeat them. But I mention only to remind us that, uh, of the seriousness of why we're here um, and, and what we call this climate catastrophe. Um, so hopefully this should sharpen our minds uh, and give us the determination to really do something about this. Um, a determination which I hope actually stays with us when we're on the streets in Copenhagen this winter because uh, we're going to need that. Um, given the gravity of this situation, it's still really quite surprising uh, how cynical corporate power can be. Um, now I'm sure you've seen these Coca-Cola ads all over town. Copenhagen. Uh, Coca-Cola is of course famed for its marketing power and it sees this opportunity um, to source new heights of irony. Uh, the bottle icon, this ball, has been a symbol of capitalism for well over a generation um, and this Christmas they're rebranding it as the bottle of hope. Copenhagen. Coca-Cola is quick to remind us of its green credentials. However, we do know better. We know about the union assassinations in Colombia. We know about water depletion in, and toxic waste in India. And we know about the huge climate impact that producing these cans, transporting them around, and refrigerating them causes. So we know that Coca-Cola is very responsible for environmental destruction. <coughs> so a word to the sponsors. You you capitalists, you don't have a hope in hell of actually stopping climate change, nor of even convincing us with your greenwash. Capitalism has caused the climate crisis, and while it presents so many false solutions, we know that we need pr profound transformation in human social relations if we're actually going to, to save this earth and, and continue life on it. Um, and this will not come from hope, this is going to come from like building active solidarity around the world between different struggles and having a life-affirming culture. So it is with this that we draw a clear line in the sand uh, between those interested in profit and power and those interested in actually standing in the way of this catastrophe and standing up for climate justice. Um, so we're not going to stop climate change at COP15. That was never going to happen. In fact, this, this entire rhetoric of saving the planet simply serves to uh, help inaugurate, inaugurate this new era of green capitalism. It's going to take a lot more than just one deal to save this planet from climate change. Um, but hopefully Copenhagen will be seen as the birthplace of a global movement for climate justice. So we're really not here to convince politicians of the need to act, but to help people the world over to realise their own role in this uh, in transforming this destructive system and moving away from the political and economic system of capitalism. A system which has brought us to the brink of annihilation and which is itself beginning to fall apart. Um, capitalism has colonized every terrain of modern existence and its mode is exploitation. Now as this, this system is on the brink of collapse, it is attempting to represent itself as the solution to the problems it in fact created. So there's no difference really between climate change and, and water scarcity, imperial war, land degradation, nuclear waste, the collapse of fish stocks, childhood obesity or endemic drug addiction. All of these problems are symptoms of an economic, an economics of exploitation and a politics of domination um, that we conveniently use the word capitalism for. And we have to solve these, these problems simultaneously so climate change is not some central issue that you can just forget about everything else. Um, but climate change does give us an impetus to get on with this sort of generalised struggle and solve all of these problems together before it's too late.